What's up guys, Chris here with Cohesive Friendship Unit, just me today, and today we're going to be talking about how to sideload content to your Oculus Quest. Uh, we don't usually do these types of videos, like these how-tos, uh, we usually talk very specifically about video games and video game hardware, but uh, I'm doing a tutorial mostly because people requested me to, and this is something that I called out as being very easy to do in the Oculus Quest review as well as the comparison between the Quest and the Rift S, so I kind of feel like I should show you how to do it. Uh, I'm going to be doing it on Mac because I already have it set up on my PC, but it is basically the exact same process minus the differences between downloading you know, the Mac version versus the Windows version. It's essentially the same. All right, before we get started, we are doing a giveaway uh, for a copy of Ukulele. We also have a Red Faction uh, giveaway for Steam codes. All you have to do is be subscribed for the ukulele giveaway. Uh, so we'd super much appreciate your support. And let's get into it. So you're going to need uh, a couple things before you get started with sideloading content. You're going to need uh, a USB-A to USB-C cable, unless your PC has a USB-C port, which most uh, most older, you know, only you know within 18 months, most PCs don't have USB. Type C port, so you would need a USB uh, A to USB C. Otherwise, you're good to use the cable that Oculus provided you. You need your Quest, and you need uh, developer stuff set up on your Oculus account. Uh, if you don't already have that, this is going to kind of happen automatically, and you'll see why in in a few steps. <laughs> uh, and basically, we have uh, four kind of processes to complete. We have uh, activate uh, developer mode on your Oculus Quest. Then we have get the Android SDK that we need. Then we get SideQuest and install that. And finally, we sideload content onto the Quest. So let's start with developer mode. Uh, this is actually a setting that is in your phone in the Oculus app. So if you connect to your device on your phone, then you hit those three dots and go to like the more settings. You can go to developer mode and you'll see a little toggle. Uh, if you hit that toggle, it's going to redirect you to the Oculus uh, developer portal. And if you're not signed in with your Oculus account, uh, you need to sign in and you need to just add an organization. It's very easy to do. I already have an organization, but I'm showing you like where you need to go to actually type in the name of the organization, click the agree, click the, click the submit, and you'll be good to go. Uh, the reason it looks so bad in my recording is because this is how it looks as far as I can tell for um, iOS and for uh, Android, unless you have like a tablet or something connected, it's gonna look bad. So I'm just preparing you for that. It doesn't seem like there's uh, some mobile scaling on on the oculus developer website but once you have your organization set you'll be able to enable that toggle to on once that toggles on uh, you might have to put your headset up to your face and just confirm developer mode uh, depending on patches and stuff like where you're at but after that you are good to go and the last thing i'll say on developer mode is you cannot transfer movies or videos that you've recorded on your Oculus Quest. So if you record a Beat Saber footage or whatever, uh, you have to migrate those over when developer mode is off. So either you can migrate those ahead of time or you can flip developer mode to off once you are ready to move some videos over. Just something to note. All right, next uh, we have to install the Android SDK platform. Uh, this is basically because Oculus Quest is running Android and all the applications are in Android. So if you're going to sideload content and you need to either build some, build a, create a build from source code or for like Beat Saber, you need to compile some stuff. This is uh, the reason that you need the Android SDK. It's super easy to do. Uh, you navigate to the link. It's going to be in the description and then pick, pick the platform you want. Obviously I'm doing Mac and extract the files wherever you need them to be. Uh, I would recommend putting them on the C drive. It makes uh, side quest much easier, uh, but it's again up to you. I would highly recommend the C drive. Okay, uh, so now we have the Oculus Quest in developer mode. We have the SDK. Uh, what you want to do is 
plug your quest into your computer and you'll be able to put the headset up to your head and it'll say allow this device to make changes to your quest and you want to hit okay always eventually and at this point you can technically sideload things but again this is kind of uh, the most streamlined this is like a very user-friendly guide so uh, we're not going to be sideloading stuff through the command line we're actually going to be downloading another plat uh, another tool called sidequest which you can access from a github link and that link will also be in the description and again download the platform of choice that you have you download sidequest uh, you might have to unplug and replug in the rift once sidequest gets all set up for the first time and again you might have to hold the headset up again and just verify that you the computer and sidequest are allowed to make changes uh, at that point you should see the little red circle go from red to green and if it does, then you guys are pretty much ready to go. You should be good to go. And you should be able to kind of navigate side quest and add whatever you want. I'm gonna show the simplest thing to add. Basically, you can uh, you can click through the apps and see what's already preloaded. Uh, that's fine. You can hit the Beast Saber button and you can look for custom Beat Saber songs and you can look up how to do that, but it's very easy. You just download them and do a quick build but i'm just going to show how to kind of sideload your first app if you go to the kind of tutorial in side quest there's just this little button that says uh click here to you know to extract your first app you'll see that on the video uh you click it and you'll notice that it's uh, it has to build and then it has to install onto your quest and if that works what that means is your your side questing is good to go you can now sideload content with side quest on your oculus quest your oculus quest is set up from there you can kind of do your own research and figure out what you want to sideload and do it however you want you can link github repos you can uh do you know you can do whatever you really want at this point this is just verifying that everything's working and how you find your sideloaded apps and how you make sure 100 percent that this worked is you put your headset on you navigate to your uh your library and you go to the unknown sources and unknown sources is going to be what keeps all of your side loaded applications and that's pretty much it God, the reason i'm not going super deep into anything specific is because that gets a little bit more case by case like beat saber uh is not directly side loading an app you're kind of building uh, a new build of Beat Saber with new content. So that's a little different, but again, very easy to, to use on SideQuest. Uh, if you want something like ALVR, again, that's just something that's a little different. You have to download a desktop client, which is also very easy to do. It's also on GitHub, and you have to uh, sideload that uh, application onto your quest as well. But this is just kind of like a from start to finish, making sure that you put everything in developer mode, get all the programs you need on your computer, and make sure that you're actually getting something onto your quest so that you have side loading 100% uh, set up. But yeah, I hope this helped you guys out. Uh, I can maybe answer questions down below. You know, everyone is a little case by case per person, but I can definitely help with the happy path scenarios. So yeah, hit me up down below if you have any questions. I uh, hope you found this helpful. And that's all for me. I will catch you guys next time.